hey cruisers, welcome to our first cruise haul. You guys said, hey, y'all need to show us what you're shopping for. And I was like, why well, haven't I ever thought of that before? So we're doing this today. Of course, I have some things that haven't arrived yet. So I've done my best to put those in the description in a link. What we did is we created an Amazon store just for this haul. Not everything you see here will be in that store though, just a few things really. Um, but it's called, I believe it's called something like Sherry's Asia Haul. And it's in our normal Amazon store, but you can find it in the description, along with a lot of other links to things that we are showing you today. Where there are links, I will tell you. Where there are no links, you're just going to have to go find them yourselves. It is not easy to find links for everything, so I'm so sorry. I know that that's a question we get a lot after we show things in videos, but um, I do what I can, folks. I do what I can. Good to see everybody in the pre-chat today. We've got a lot of our OG people here. For those of you who are watching this on replay, what we're going to do is spend the first 15 minutes of the chat or of the video showing you everything in the hall and then after that we'll hang out for another 15 minutes or so and chat so if you have any questions hold those questions until the second half and I'd be happy to answer them but we really want to be considerate to people who are watching this on replay who are like look I'm just here to see the stuff I don't want to hear all the chatter so we're gonna kind of try to keep everybody happy so I'm gonna go from my right to my left on the table and then when I'm done with that I'm gonna turn around and show you all the clothing items that I have bought a lot of this stuff I've been stocking up on over the last few months. I haven't necessarily bought it this week or super recently for budget reasons and also just because I found things during the summer season that I thought would be nice to take on the trip. Another disclaimer, we're going carry on only not because we necessarily need to, but because we just want to keep it light and there's great laundry services on Princess. So we are going to have to cut some things down. So some of the things that you're seeing on the table today are not going to make the cut. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Aw, Seth said the chatter is the best part. The chatter is the best part, but I don't know that everybody would agree if they came to just watch a haul and here we are talking all about Seth's suite on whatever ship it is. Anyway, first thing I bought is a new curling iron. This is the exact replica of the curling iron that I currently use, but my other one is close to going out and I figured if I lose my curling irons functionality on a cruise, I'm in big trouble. So this is a one inch Hot Tools Professional and this is in the Amazon store. It runs around 40 bucks. You can also get them at Ulta and a variety of other places. But again, I believe this is a one inch curling iron. They are fantastic. Love them. Curled my hair using it today. Another thing that I am super excited about you guys is the last few months of Pura Vida monthly club bracelets have totally matched my clothing for the cruise. This one was gorgeous. I haven't done an unboxing yet on this channel, but you can kind of see this pack of three beautiful bracelets from Pura Vida Monthly Club. If you want to join that club or buy some bracelets, there is a link in the description. So this is the first little kit that I got. That was the um, October pack, which also came with this beautiful breast cancer awareness bonus bracelet. And then the November pack was absolutely equally gorgeous. You probably can't see it very well, but it's a set of three bracelets with just the most beautiful charms. One of them's like a little opal gem. One is a leaf and one is a piece of driftwood and it's just beautiful. They are just killing it at Pura Vida. So again, this is the monthly club, $15 a month. It is a subscription. Highly recommend it. I also bought Mr. Cruise Tips TV two new bracelets for the cruise. He's been wearing his bracelets for years. So I got him a new bracelet. Honey, have you seen it? It came in. This is the wave charm for Mr. Cruise Tips TV. So if you go on to Pura Vida's website, you're going to look for wave charm in black. This is for him. And I also got him a new um, gray basic Pura Vida bracelet. This is an original in gray. And then they sent me a bonus bracelet. They were having a big sale. And so I got this beautiful uh, beaded bracelet. That's a nice white basic that I love. And I ordered myself a gray circle charm. So if you're looking this one up on the website, this is a rose gold and circle charm. Um, the band is gray and the charm itself is rose gold. So these are so pretty, I love them. Okay, Judy, I will hold the bracelets against my shirt sleeve. Good idea. There you go, sort of. There you go. Kind of more like that so you can see them. 
All right, so anyway, little bracelet haul. Really love my Piravitas. I don't usually buy new ones before a cruise because the monthly club keeps me so stocked up that I don't need to, but this time I just couldn't resist. Okay, I bought two hats, and you guys are gonna have to help me decide which one to take. I don't really think I'm gonna take both, but I got this one at Target. There is a link in the description to this particular hat. If you wanna buy it at the store, it's called Wild Fable, and this was $10 at Target, you guys. $10, isn't that a great deal? I love the heart on this. This one I think it's so cute so when you see my clothes later know that I think this one may not match very well so this is choice number one help me pick and choice number two is this billabong hat that I got at Macy's I don't have a link to this one but if you want to try to find it it was $23 and it's called billabong beach club so which one do you guys like better the heart shaped one from Target or the billabong I think this one matches my clothing a little bit better in general um, but I definitely need to take a hat and I love getting a new one so let me know which one you think oh kit kitty cat cat wants me to put it on I don't want to mess up my hair too much so I'll kind of put it on there's one and I'm kind of putting on this one. And then Mr. Cruise TV is giving me dirty looks because he knows my hair is going to get all janky. You want to see the hat? Are you going to put it on, babe? Okay, Mr. Cruise TV is putting it on. <laughs> you can't, they honest. can't see you, honey. <laughs> That's not fair. You're just teasing them. Oh my God. Okay, everybody's saying number two, number two, number two. Oh, okay, so you guys agree with me. I like number two. That was really funny, honey. That was really cute. He tried, and then he realized the error of his ways. But Mr. Crucifix TV, you show yourself on Instagram, you just don't know it. <laughs> He's like, I know I do, I know. So um, Jim says, billabong all day. Okay, good, take both. You know, I know, I kind of maybe will, I kind of want to take both. You guys, I'm an overpacker who's trying to go carry on only. How did I end up in this situation? All right, yeah, Gentlemen's Tubs Club, I love it. Oh, okay, next up I wanna show you guys my new shades. I got these two or three months ago at Macy's. I do have a link to them on Amazon. They're in the shop that we created. These are beautiful polarized Ray-Bans. They're kind of gold. I think that they have a name. Oh boy, let me see if I can see the name here. Oh my gosh, why do they do that? Oh, polarized. I can't find out what the name is, but they're in the store, and this is what they look like on I love polarized glasses. I thought these were a little bit different, kind of a warm, classic looking sunglass. And of course, they always come with a beautiful Ray-Ban case. So I really, really like these. I'm very happy with them. Okay, I wanna introduce you guys to something totally new that I've discovered, and that is Thrive Cosmetics. I kept getting DMs from our subscribers saying, you need to try Thrive, especially the mascara. A girl that had lash extensions for a while, but I virtually have no natural lashes, like I am a bald rat, basically. I have um, strips on right now. I hate my eyelashes. I just, I hate them. This mascara is amazing, you guys. I should have known from the name that I would like it. It's called Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. You, you're gonna have to get this one on your own. I don't have a link. They do not sell it on Amazon for under $60, which is just dumb. Don't buy it on Amazon. Go directly to Thrive Cosmetics or thrivemarket.com and buy this. Um, it has a complex in it to help your lashes grow. And I'll show you what the container looks like. It's very heavyweight, it's wonderful. I've been wearing it every day and I really feel like it makes my lashes look longer. And that is saying a lot because not only do I dislike mascara, but I don't buy into any of the hype with any of the stuff. This is an exception. It kind of lifts and curls them too. I can't explain it, but it's fantastic. Go buy it, $28. Next up, this is the, the item I should not have bought, and that is because it is in my FabFitFun box, I believe, and I had no idea, haven't opened my box yet, but this is the Brilliant Eye Brightener uh, Highlighting Stick by Thrive Cosmetics. Wonderful product, kind of a powdery texture for those of you who like cosmetics. It's a little bit less creamy, pow a little powdery, and with a bit of kind of a shimmer, not a glittery shimmer, but definitely um, a shimmer. Christine, it flakes a tiny bit only on the lower lash, but not a ton. Um, but it does so much good otherwise that the flaking hasn't really bothered me because it only does it on the bottom lash. It doesn't flake at all on the top, so I've been really happy with it. Okay, the next product that's kind of unusual, uh, I'll go with this one first, is because of the fact that we have two long haul flights, this is z -Quil Pure Z's chews. So these are melatonin chews to help us sleep on the flight over and the flight back if we need it. 
I've put these in the Amazon store. I've also put the children's version. They have a, a more um, mild melatonin, exact same brand. If you need to give your kids a little help to sleep, don't give them Benadryl. Give them a little bit of kid approved melatonin. So that's what we're gonna be using. I use melatonin at home in the form of emergency when I have trouble sleeping, but these are still sealed so I can't show you, but they're pretty large chews and I think they're purple and they are wild berry vanilla flavor, a little bit pricey, you can get them at Target or you can get them in our Amazon store. So this is for sleeping on long haul flights. That's kind of a unique item. I also got some lashes, gotta have some lash strips, right? I don't plan on renewing my lash extensions. They're just too expensive for us right now. I need to spend the money on my kid's college fund. Let's just be honest. So it's the lash strips for me. These are great, they stay on really well. If you use an applicator and plunk them on with some glue, they stay great. So. That's that. Okay, now I wanna show you my beautiful items from Natasha's 31 store. I told Natasha I need some new things, I wanna make a purchase, and I've been dying to show you guys this origami pop print. I'm obsessed with it, I totally love it. It's been my favorite since I met Natasha. So I bought the um, origami pop glamour case, which is actually the makeup case that I have now. I just decided to buy it in another print. I'm gonna pull the tissue out of that really quickly and show you the case. So this is just a standard makeup case, but it's lined with plastic. So if your foundation spills or you have little messes, you can take a little Windex or something and clean it out with a paper towel. And it also has room for your brushes up here and a little zipper case to put things in. I put my eyeliners and my brushes in here, my bigger items like foundations, powders, eyeshadows here, and my brushes here. Love this. Again, this is called the Glamour Case. And, um, We've linked to Natasha's 31 store in the comments below. Love, love, love this print, you guys. It's so cute. And along the same lines, I got a new, this is called, I think it's something like a family travel hanging organizer. Natasha can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm pretty close there. And you can put anything you want in this. There are no rules for this product. So if you wanna put makeup in it, fine. If you wanna put toiletries in it, fine. If you wanna put your cables and your phone accessories and your tech, you can do whatever you want. There's just no rules. You, you use this how you wanna use it. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I wanted it to match my glamour case, so I bought it. I'm kinda thinking maybe jewelry. It just maybe. So it has a little hook, not a hook, but a little thingy you can hang on the back of your bathroom door. Or in my case, what I'll do if I put my jewelry in this, this will go in my closet over a hanger. You can actually do that on both sides and it has a little zipper closure. So again, this is Origami Pop Hanging Family Organizer or something like that. Super cute, love it. Now, there's one other thing that I got from Natasha's 31 store that's a little non-conventional that you're gonna be like, what is that and why is it for a cruise? Well, it's kind of for my life and it's kind of for a cruise. I bought this from Natasha's store. It's called a Celebrate card set and it has 24 greeting cards in it, you guys. I wanna use these greeting cards for our room steward and things like that. Look how cute this card is. It says, thanks a latte on it. And here's another one that says, here's a big thank you for all the little things you do. I love this one for a room steward. There's just so many cute thank you cards in here. And there's 24 different occasions. So there's birthdays and all that stuff. Um, but there's just some cute ones. Look at this one, it says, love your inner beauty. I just love them. So they're beautiful. I'm going to be taking them to work with me as well um, because I'll use them for my staff, for birthdays and things like that. But Aren't they cute, you guys? Something super, super sweet just to have on hand. It's really nice to reduce the stress of needing to go buy a, a greeting card for every single occasion. So there's 24 in there. That'll probably keep me for a little while. All right. Okay, I went to Marshall's recently and had a great, great, great experience. I had a fun little haul, and I wanna show you two of the items that I got in my little uh, Marshall's haul. One of them is a My Tagalongs Nomad Crossbody Sack. So this kind of goes well with my color scheme, which you can see back here is definitely running on the burgundy and purple side. I didn't wanna go all burgundy purple, but they have these at Marshall's right now. This one was $7.99, and I also got the matching waist sack with it. I am not going to call it a fanny pack. If you want to call it a fanny pack, you go right ahead. But this is my waist sack. I also put these in the Amazon store, but they're in really wild colors. It's like a glittery copper. But if you can find these at your local Marshalls right now, get them. They're so cute. I use these waist packs um, from my tagalongs on my nighttime walks with my son. I put my house key and my phone in it and I just put it around my waist so that I'm hands free and I can hold his hand or take photos or just do whatever I want. So anyway, I thought these were so cute and they have kind of a cute quilted design. 
How are we doing, Mr. Cruise TV? Everybody happy in the chat? Okay. We're getting really close to being done with the items on the table. Um, I bought another item. These are in the Amazon store, but I got these at Target Online. These are single makeup removers. So they come in individual packets. So these are to remove my eye makeup. And I'm gonna put these in my toiletry bag. These are wonderful. And there's 20 of them in the pack. Really good travel item. You could split these with whoever you're traveling with because not one person will probably need all 20. Then I got a book. And you guys know I do not read hardcover books. I only do generally audiobooks and podcasts because I don't like to sit still and I usually am working or with my family until I crash out. I don't do leisure. However, I bought Girl Wash Your Face because my podcast obsession has led me to Rachel Hollis and I love her podcast that she does with her husband called Rise Together. It is so uplifting and wonderful. And if, if you are looking for a fun and funny podcast about life and marriage and just keeping it real and being stronger together as a couple, that podcast is amazing. Normally, I would have never bought this book. I don't really do self-help stuff, but man, if you like Rachel and you're into self-improvement, let's frame it that way, and you wanna be the best person that you can be, I've fallen in love with her approach. And so I'm gonna to try to read it on the plane. I don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't know if I'm gonna read it on the cruise, but I, I pulled the trigger and I put it in our Amazon store too because I just think she's so great and she's so wonderful at empowering people, not just women, but men, women, and families to just be awesome and to, to live their dreams and to support each other and to be the, the best spouses you can be for your children. And I just, I, I love her. So anyway, you guys, I bought a book. Can you believe that? I'm, I'm, in, I'm still in shock. I, I'm looking at it going like, wait, I'm going to read that? Oh my God. But anyway, I was also very curious about it because everyone talks about this book. It's like the chatter at the gym and all of that. Okay. My next purchase was this binder. I am going totally nerdy and I've created a binder for this cruise. I needed a lot more space for paperwork and putting it in a loose folder just wasn't gonna work for me this time. So I've got my wall mount itinerary on the outside. And then what I did for the inside is I bought these um, dividers that have pockets in them. I think I may have shown this to you guys in a video recently, but instead of punching the paper, you just put the papers in the pockets. So I have it divided up into different sections from excursions to filming to receipts to hotels and flights and boarding passes. And I am really, really happy with this decision. It makes me feel like everything looks cleaner. Um, usually I kind of just throw it in a loose folder and that wasn't working for me. So this folder, I got this at Office Depot, I think. I didn't put this in the store, but you can find it. It's just an Avery, um, I think it's an Avery, like maybe one inch binder. And then the inserts are just called um, dividers with pockets. So definitely recommend getting something like that. Okay, now we're gonna move over to the clothing and then we'll jump into the chat. Any critical questions right now, Mr. Crucibs TV, or are we good? Uh, there's I think... some clarification on the RFID for the uh, waste pack. Oh. Is there RFID built I into that? I don't think there is. Locking that is? I see that Ms. Mary asked a question about that too. It's not saying that there's RFID protection in either one of these, Tammy. And Ms. Mary, you said, what, what was the first pack? Was it for your waist? The first pack was a crossbody. And the second pack is a waste. So I'm not sure I'm even gonna take both of them. Throw them over here. I'll just pass them through the hole. Okay. <laughs> pass them through the hole. Okay, let's talk about clothes because I've definitely bought some new clothes and I've been doing it for a while. You guys are gonna laugh out loud at the first thing I bought, but I bought travel pants at Costco. These are a brand called 32 Cool that my husband loves. And these are a, um, a kind of an ankle length travel pant that can wash really well and they're great for flights and things like that. Thank you, sweetheart. I tried them on at Costco a few months ago. These were in the summer and I was so in love with them. They're not too high-waisted. They have a comfortable pocket and I can see myself wiggling around my chair for 12 hours in these pants. So I'll probably wear them on the flight, but I think they'll also be great for mornings around the ship. I put a similar pair of Kirkland pants in our Amazon store, but if you can snap up this 32 brand at Costco. They are dirt cheap 
and they are so cozy and wonderful. Um, I bought them in a medium, just for reference. And I'm five foot zero and they're still not long on me. They're kind of cropped actually. So I would size up for sure. Okay, let's talk about clothing. Um, let's see here, making sure I didn't miss any critical questions. Okay, first thing I bought this summer at Macy's that they still have at Macy's is this cover up. It's really sheer. It has beautiful back detail. And in fact, it has a cutout back and this tie with this cute little um, pom pom on it. If you'd like to find this at Macy's, it has a name. It's called Marshmallow and the brand is Micken Swim, M-I-K-E-N Swim. Um, or you can go to mickenclothing.com and this is called Marshmallow, really cute cover up. We're going to be in, um, in Vietnam and Singapore, it should be really hot, so I think we'll need that on those warmer days. Um, are you okay, honey? Yeah, okay. I also found a free people dress. You guys know free people is a splurge for me. This is the first free people item I bought not on sale. It was really expensive. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, cover your headphones. I think I spent 150 bucks on this dress. I've never spent that much on a dress unless it was formal, but it looks like this in the front and then the back is completely cut out. You know I'm a sucker for cut out backs and it's just really pretty. It has crochet detail. And I am going to try to figure out what this one is called. This is an extra small free people and I'm just dropping the ball on the name of the product here. Let's see if it's on the tag. We're gonna try to find out folks. If not, I might have to get you all a link later because I wasn't able to find this online. Oh no, it doesn't have a name, but um, I'll help you guys try to find it later if you're interested, but I really love this dress. It's extremely comfortable. All right, some items I wanna show you from my Marshalls haul. I found this, um, what is this brand? You guys know what this is, Under Armour. I found this cute, athletic looking kind of hoodie um, from Under Armour. This was under $15, I absolutely love it. Another item that I got last week at Marshalls, was this shirt from Soft and Sexy brand, weird name, cute bell sleeves. Look at the bell sleeves on this shirt. And it's kind of fun with jeans and things like that. So I love that, super happy with that. And then I found this Roxy hoodie. Not sure if I'm taking this because as you're about to find out, I've got too much stuff here and I'm gonna have a hard time. No links for those items that I just showed you, unfortunately, but you guys are definitely seeing the color scheme come together here. Something happened to me and I got obsessed with purple and violet and plum and burgundy and all of the purple family for this cruise. And that's just the direction it's been going. Okay, a couple of items that are in the Amazon store. This is a Columbia jacket. This is a medium, I love this. I think it's called the Benton Springs. And this one is in my Asia Hall shopping uh, list. This is for those colder ports, it's kind of bulky. Probably gonna have to wear this sucker on the airplane. If I don't wear that on the plane, I'm gonna have to wear this on the plane. This is another 32 Heat brand. I bought this at Macy's. It was on sale from 100 down to like maybe $60 several months ago, but they do still have it. This is an ultra light down packable jacket. And I was able to find these um, at on Amazon and I put some in the store. They also had a plus size um, uh, version of this exact jacket. So I put that in the store as well. And this is a medium just for reference. I think this is so pretty. Now I have to figure out if I'm gonna take some kind of a waterproof layer because none of that stuff is waterproof. And I don't really think I need both of these items. Let me know if you, what you guys think if I should take the fleece or not. Okay, found this at Macy's um, a week or two ago. This is an ultra flirt, no link. This is a small, cute little hooded t-shirt, long sleeve t-shirt with some kind of mesh detail, kind of cute. I found this dress at Macy's a few months ago as well. This is a Style & Co in size small. I couldn't find a link. I think this one might be gone because I bought it over the summer. These tops are both from Target and you've seen me wear both of these in several videos during Vlogtoberfest. These are off the shoulder tops from Target and I have links in the description below. These for reference are medium. So I have a link for the purple one and the mustard one. Okay, almost done. We only have one more item of clothing and this is just a really basic purple t-shirt that I'll probably wear in Singapore. Um, this is a small universal thread v-neck that I picked up at Target. Woo! All right, you guys, that's it. As I get more stuff in, I will try to incorporate it into our packing videos that we'll probably film next weekend and publish within the next few weeks. So 
I did order some new packing cubes. I ordered a bright orange set of medium packing cubes from eBags in uh, medium, and then I ordered a slim set. And I ordered, I actually got gifted a new, um, it, it's not a neck pillow, but it's like this thing that you wrap around your neck that helps you to sleep, but it's not a pillow. And we were really struggling with space in our bags to take all of the beautiful travel pillows that we have from Travel On. So this may be a good solution for one of us. And then we'll, one of us will take a Travel On pillow and then the other person will take the neck wrap. So watch our packing videos to see that. All right, woo, we did it guys. Now for Q and A, for those of you who watched the replay, if you don't wanna hang out anymore, then you can definitely peace out because we're gonna answer questions and do some chatting right now. So Kimberly thinks I should leave the gray one home. Okay, thank you, Kimberly. Yeah, I could probably get away, Kimberly, with like maybe this hoodie underneath the jacket and not need all the bulk of the gray one. The gray one is cozy, but it's probably unnecessary. I, I totally agree. So we'll have to see how much Mr. Cruise Tips TV uses compression packing cubes for me to decide all of that stuff. Okay. Really good comments coming in. No, Brooke, I'm not packed yet. We are still working it out. Okay, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, I'm gonna answer some questions now. Um, Kitty Cat Quats, Kitty Cat Cat, sorry, said, question, does mascara and concealer go in the 311? My concealer and mascara don't go in my 311, but my foundation does, just to answer that. Crazy Cat Traveler, how many Target boxes did I get? All of them too many. I, oh, I wish I had the box out here. I have a stack that's this high. I bought them because I wanted to do a video on them, not because I needed everything and because it's almost holiday time and they are the best gifts for my coworkers. So I can definitely gift them at my secret Santa party without any arguments from my team. They'll be like, oh, Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So like the dry shampoo kit that has six dry shampoos. Are you bringing that to me? <gasps> no, this is most of them. But uh, thank you so much, honey. Look, you guys, look at all the Target boxes that came. Um, these were a variety of prices, but we'll do an unboxing soon. This is Big Hair Don't Care. We have um, the dry shampoo kit. And we have, this one's called Glam To Go Beauty. This has a combination of different products. The reason I was stoked about this is because it had a tea tree oil, which I'm out of at work, for my oil diffuser. And it had a set of lashes in it. So excited. So we'll unbox these another day. This is the Get The Royal Treatment one from British Beauty Brands. Love this one. Um, this vitamin C facial wash alone is amazing and is gonna go with me on the cruise. And then I got the Shea Faves Beauty, which is all shea butter things. Sorry guys, I got a little bit of a runny nose here. And then I have another couple of monthly boxes as well. I think I have my October, excuse me, and November regular beauty boxes, the smaller ones. Honey, could you grab me a tissue real quick? I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, we'll unbox those. I think I got a little bit of fuzz in my nose actually from something that I touch, some clothing or something, cause it's like itchy. All right, Monica said, hi, have you ever thought about going without makeup? <sighs> you have and it feels so great. Monica, I wanna be that brave, but I don't look good anymore without makeup. I'm 45, I am having a hard time controlling the under eye circles and the darkness. And I, when I have a tan, I look okay without makeup. But as you've probably seen from my vlogs, you've seen me early morning without makeup. It's just not a pretty picture. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Renee wants to know where she can find the greeting cards. Renee, the greeting cards are for sale on Natasha's 31 website. So go into the description of this video or Natasha can link to it here if she wants to as well. And you can have her help you out with that. She has a Facebook page, excuse me, and um, a website that you can find the greeting card set on. Okay. I'm ready for more questions, Mr. Cruise Tips TV. Feel free to shoot. I'm gonna jump into the chat for just a moment too. Natasha, I'm gonna approve your, um, your link there. Everybody, Natasha's link is in the description, excuse me, in the chat now if you'd like to check it out. Um, she has the cutest things. All right. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Everybody who's asking when our cruise is, it's next month. So we have a little bit more time here. We're not leaving tomorrow, don't worry. We've got some time. Okay, Becky said, I mentioned a compression bag and a pump for pillows, you can't find them. Becky, I will put them in the cruise hall, in the Asia cruise hall, Amazon store by two o'clock today. Mr. Cruise Tips TV, can you give her a link to the compression bags with pump while we're in the chat or is that is that hard to do? 
Mm. The compression bags that come with the pump. Do you think you could find them fast enough on Amazon for her? It's for um, Becky. We'll put them in the we'll put them in the store for you, Becky. Okay. All right, Amy, what a great question. Amy said, is there a country on your upcoming cruise that you're a bit apprehensive about visiting? Yes, all of them. <laughs> um, I, I, I'll try to weigh my apprehension in by going country by country and telling you about my fears because yes, full on. In Japan, I'm a little bit nervous about the currency, the ca using cash, getting cash in the airport, getting to on the right bus to our hotel, and I'm also nervous about um, just making sure we don't offend anyone. Lots of cultural norms that we want to be careful about. I think we're going to do just fine and do great, but I'm definitely nervous about that. I'm also a little bit nervous about the crowds. I don't do super duper well in big cities and in crowd situations normally, but I know that people in Japan are extremely civilized and polite and wonderful, so I think I'm, I think I'm gonna be all right. A um, Little bit less concerned about Hong Kong because I know that there's a bit more English to be spoken and we have a private guide there. Um, I'm a little nervous about Shimizu in Japan because we don't have a tour or a guide. Everything was just a little bit too expensive and we didn't find anything that we really wanted to do for under like $150 a person for an excursion, which sometimes that's okay, but it was getting expensive to do all the tours we're doing, so we had to draw the line. So we're just gonna be walking around, I think, in that port and I'm a little nervous about that. Um, I'm not particularly nervous about Vietnam, um, I think probably because we have very structured tours in that area, and Singapore, same thing. We're doing a debarkation tour, so I think it's more just those. A um, little bit ner probably more nervous about Japan than anything else because we're kind of on our own the first day. But we're going to figure it all out, and we're really ready for the adventure. I just I've never been to any of these places, so we're watching lots of YouTube videos. We're watching YouTube tutorials on how to get to our shuttle, and we're just going to figure it out and hope for the best and keep our kids safe and have a good time. So, yeah. Um, let's see here. Um, I don't, Wheezy, I don't really know if 31 is considered an MLM. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm sorry. I, I can't really answer that question. Let's see here. I know that we've got more questions coming in. Oh, Natalie wants to know what excursions we picked. Natalie, I'll try to buzz through them really, really fast for you, okay? Um, in uh, Osaka, we we have arranged for a private guide through a company called Triple Lights, which is a website connecting people with guides. And our guide is going to take us via tr public transportation, which is so fun. We get to, you know, we get to act like tourists with a guide but without being in a structured tour with 100 people. So we have a private guide taking us from Osaka to Kyoto. We're going to hang out in Kyoto for the day, do some of the sites there. We're going to have lunch with her and then we're going to go back and we're going to go to the Pokemon Center in Osaka. In Hong Kong, we've also rented a half-day guide, which I arranged for on Shipmate app. I'm going to be doing a video on our experience booking with Shipmate app. Super awesome experience. Um, in um, in uh, Taiwan, in, um, in Taipei, I'm sorry, we're doing an excursion where we go to a hotel in Hot Springs and a geo park, and that's gonna be amazing. I'm super excited about that one. So we're gonna be kind of driving out into the mountainous area, buffet lunch, Hot Springs. It just sounds like it's gonna be so fantastic. And then in, um, in Ho Chi Minh City, we're taking a tour with a group of people from the ship that we kind of all kind of came together on Cruise Critic and found one another. And we're doing a tour that goes just all over Ho Chi Minh City. It's gonna be really cool. And I'm probably most excited about in Nha Trong, Vietnam, we're doing this, this tour called Amazing Snorkeling. That's what they called it. It was so cute. But it's a high adventure tour. And you know us. We're beach people. We're water people. We like to be on speedboats. We're going on a speedboat. We're going to an island off of Nha Trong. We're going to be going snorkeling there. And then we're going to a fishing village to eat fresh fish, just caught, prepped for you right there. Then we're going to another beach. It's just going to be super awesome. And then in Singapore, we're doing a tour with Princess Cruises called um, the, you know, like Best of Singapore. It's like a debarkation tour that drops us at the airport. Don't know that I've missed any. Oh, I did. I feel like I missed one. Oh, man. I'll have to think about it, but we'll, we'll try to do an episode on that soon. 
Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, Melody, that you didn't get the notification. We're going to be doing, we're working on getting an email list going so we can, we know that it's just out of control right now with people not getting notifications on YouTube. So we're taking matters into our own hands and we're going to start an email list and we're going to try to notify people of our upcoming videos because we got to, we've got to let you know somehow. We can't leave it to YouTube anymore. So anyway, um, Megan, I haven't found any slip-on shoes yet, so I might just stick with my Nike Tangents because I realize that what I do is I pop them off my heel without untying them anyway, so it's not ideal, but I'm gonna probably go to Famous Footwear today and see if they have any cute um, slip-ons, but if not, I'm gonna stick with what I have. Great question. Megan has been helping me with our trip, you guys. She's been really awesome about te teaching me the Japanese cultural norms, the do's and don'ts, and some great ideas for travel. Oh, Natalie said, are you prepared to feel like a celebrity? Asians love the blondes. Really? Oh, I didn't know that, Natalie. That is so funny. I would have never expected that. Um, when we lived in Spain, it was kind of like that. They, they kind of, you got a lot of attention for being blonde and they would call me Rubia and I, I don't know, it was weird, but we'll see. Okay, let's see. Leah said, which hotel in Taiwan? Your sister lives in Taipei. Um... Oh, I can't remember the name of the hotel, but it's something Hot Springs Resort. Um, it might be like, I think it's like Tian Lan Hot Springs area. Melody, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. I saw that. Um, but yeah, okay. Let's see what's going on here in the chat. You guys are fun. Yes, Tammy, we're doing carry on only this time. Um, what do you mean, Sarah, book taxi before Singapore debarkment? I don't know what you mean. I have a tour booked that day, so let me know, please. All right. I know there's more questions coming in. Turtle Frog, you tip in some Asian countries, but not others. Um, you definitely are not supposed to tip in Japan. Good question. We've been researching that as well. Um, Turtle Frog, what currency do you tip in Asian countries? Prefer preferably their currency. A little bit different than traveling to Mexico or something like that where it's okay to use American dollars or even the Caribbean. Okay. No, Judy, we didn't buy compression socks for the plane trips. Do you think we should? Let me know. I didn't, I didn't know that we should do that. Okay. Looking for more questions. <laughs> so, Seth, do they have shoe excursions? Yes, I need a shoe excursion. Um... Good questions today, you guys. Just looking to see if I've missed any. Let's do this. Since we're coming up on the 45 minute point, let's have you retype any questions that you may have that we may have missed. Hope you all liked this. Um, while we're waiting for any more questions to come in, let's talk about the schedule for our next bit of live streams. What's going on? Next Saturday, so that's the Saturday after Thanksgiving, we are going to be um, going live on our regular YouTube channel, Cruise Tips TV, for a Q&A session. And then immediately after, we're going over to here, to Cruise Gear, at 1.15 p.m. on November 24th to do part two of Hubby's camera bag. He has scaled down what he's taking, and we're gonna show you the scaled down version. So hopefully you'll come back for that. Well, I don't know about scale down. You didn't I'm scale. trying. I'm trying to scale it down. You're so cute, honey. I think you did good. I mean, we had to scale down, but okay. Yeah, Seth said definitely no tipping in Japan. Very offensive. It's going to be so hard for me not to tip my guide. And I was telling Megan the other day, I'm a hugger and physical affection is also a no-no in Japan, so I can't hug my guide. That's going to be weird. I, my son is a hugger too. I can see him going up and like hugging her at the end of the day, so... We're gonna have to be smart and aware here. What, are you laughing at me? Why are you laughing at I'm me? I'm laughing at the dumb questions. Um, and and I, I say that because they said that. Let me, see, let me read it here. Nat, it's from Natalie King. OMG, my, husby, my hubby who asked dumb questions wants me to ask another. Here we go. Are you afraid of running into Godzilla? In Natalie, Natalie's husband, in case you don't remember, is the one who asked yes. us about Sharknado. <laughs> I, Natalie, I, I love you guys. I, You're so I, cute. I appreciate those questions. And Godzilla. yes, I, I am. Yes. But I am willing to take it on. I, yes. I, I can't speak for Sherry. One of our biggest fears about this trip is our fear of running into Godzilla. So afraid. <laughs> uh, Monica said, what weather are you expecting? Excellent question. Um, Miss Monica, we are expecting winter weather in Tokyo, more temperate and moderate weather in Hong Kong. And then as we move down towards Vietnam and Singapore, extremely warm um, weather would she would expect near the equator. So summer-like, humid, hot, and totally different 
from the port, the point where we start to the point where we end. It's about a 2,800 nautical mile journey from one tip of the, the cruise to the next. So we're starting in Tokyo, for those who don't know, from Tokyo and we're going all the way down Japan and we're hitting, um, we're hitting Taipei, Hong Kong, and then we're navigating down to Vietnam and ending in Singapore. So that should be really interesting. Okay, good question. Jeanette, hopefully I just answered your question about where we're going as well. Um, Melissa, I'm not sure where the laundry rooms are on Carnival Dream, but you should be able to look at the deck plans and look for self-serve laundrette. Okay. Yeah, we'd love to come to Australia, Stacy. That would be so fun. Definitely a goal of ours. Um, Kristen, no, we're not near the fires in California this year. Thankfully, we're a good hour and a half away. Um, we do, I do have coworkers who were impacted, but everyone is safe and they're doing okay. So thank you for asking. We went through such hell with that last year with the air quality. Um, I just wouldn't wish it on anyone. It's horrible. But many of you guys who are in um, the Pacific Northwest in Canada, you've been through the same thing. You understand how far smoke can drift. It's pretty crazy. Yes, Nurse Nancy, we do know about taking off our shoes in Japan. Definitely aware of that. Jim said tipping is not customary, customary in Singapore either, but exceptions can be made. Thank you so much for letting me know that. Okay, more questions. I'm sure we can find them. Um, John, have a wonderful time on your Mexican Riviera cruise. You're going to have a good, good time. I know, Mike and Cheryl, no hugging. They're out. I'm so bummed about that. I saw that. I was like, <gasps> How am I going to do this? <laughs> it's really, I'm definitely a hugger. I just, I am. I can't stop. I, I'm going to have to control myself. Um, ask anyone who has ever met us on a cruise. We are definitely huggers. And my son is the biggest of all huggers. He's a squeezer. He doesn't let go. What, sweetie? You're laughing at me again. It's true. It is so true. We are huggers. Um, wow, Japanese love blondes and redhead Seth. Tammy said to bow instead of hugging. Yes, I've been learning about bowing and all the angles and everything. Like there's different angles. It's fascinating to me. I want to take a bowing class. And I, I will, I think I can definitely adapt to that. Um, so yes. Uh, bookworm agent said, hi Sherry, do you speak any other languages? Do you learn when you go on cruises? We've been studying how to say hello and thank you in the different languages we're going to encounter in the five or so different countries on this cruise. Other than that, I have not studied anything. I speak a little bit of Spanish and we can definitely, my husband is pretty fluent in Spanish because he studied in Spain. We can definitely get by in Mexico and converse with people to a level that we could never do anywhere else. Um, and I understand a little bit of French, but we're in trouble in Asia. We're just in huge trouble. So, I mean, we're just going to have the very basics, but we're trying. I wish, I wish we had more time in each place so <laughs> that we could make it a little bit more, you know, more of an effort. Ah, oh, Seth, you're a hugger too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I always feel bad. Okay, let's see. Um, Melissa, yes, you can post your review on the, um, on the Facebook page about Carnival Vista, no problem. Natasha and I will not delete it. As long as everything is like geared towards a learning environment in the student page, we're cool. Obviously, if there's anything inappropriate in it that we find or if someone complains to us or something, we'll tell you first. And then if we need to pull it down, we will, but I'm sure it's fine. Thank you so much for asking. You're such a sweetheart. Okay, all right. Yes, Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. No chewing gum in Singapore. Oh, my God, Seth. You must be so tall in Japan. I know because you're a tall guy anyway, but you would be towering over people. Definitely. All right. I think that we have wrapped up most um, of the questions. John Jalen, we have a little air quality issue here, but nothing terrible. We've been through much worse. Thank you all so much for being here. Um, we've had a really good time. I was super excited to do this little video. Um, I was dancing around the house this morning telling my husband how excited I was, partially because we've missed you guys, but also just because I think it's fun to share your shopping stuff with other people, duh. So come back soon for our packing videos on the other channel. Those are probably not going to be live. So yes, Brooke, we have a live stream on Saturday, November 24th at 11 a.m. Pacific. That's 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, let's see, Jonjolin said, what section of the ship is best for couples to be alone? Jonjolin, it depends on the ship. If you're on Carnival or Princess, you would be in like the Serenity or the, um, oh my gosh, I just forgot the name of the, the beautiful lounge on Princess. Um, oh, I can't remember what it is, but... There are private areas. Um, the aft area of most ships is, just tends to be a little bit quieter as well. 
All right, everybody. Thank you so very, very much for being here today. I will see you all next Saturday. We're going to be popping up live on Facebook and possibly here um, or on Cruise Tips TV in between. So make sure that you watch our social media pages so that we can announce that for you. Thanks for watching, you guys. Until next time, get in gear and get cruising. Bye. First mate of the week. Mm.